Okay, this is my typography portrait tutorial. Um, and as you can see, I've used an image of Rihanna and I've also used some of her song lyrics. So you will need to collect an image um, and find some text that's relevant that you can use for this. So I'm just going to get rid of my layers that I've used to work on this so that I'm back to square one so that you can see from the beginning. So you're obviously going to need to get an image. Um, and I've chosen this one. Either with a black or plain white background is um, good. Either black or white will do, or as long as it's plain background, that's fine. The first thing that you're going to do is we need to split this um, image up into kind of shadowy and mid-tone areas. So select colour range. First of all, we need to go down to the shadows one at the bottom. Make sure it's, it's, um, it's clicked on the selection mask. Click OK. And then... Command C, Command V into a new layer. So we now have selected that and copied and pasted it into a new layer. We're going to do the same thing again. Select color range. This time we're going to choose the mid tones. OK, and again, Control C, I mean Command C, Command V. Oh, let's go back on that. As I've, choosed, I've made a common mistake, I've picked on the wrong layer, so let's do it again. Select colour range, mid-tones, OK, Command C, Command V to have that copied in, and then you can hide your background layer. You will at this point probably be best to make a new white layer as well underneath. So <clears throat> if you click on new layer like this, reorder it to make sure it's underneath. Select white in your colours and then you can paint bucket to fill so that you've got that going on. The next thing that we want to do is we want to edit this so there's no colours, we want to make it grayscale. So we are going to go to fill, edit, fill, on your mid-tone layer, you want that to be 50% grey, so when the di di fill dialog box comes up, change that to 50% grey, make sure preserve transparency is selected, and click OK. You're now going to do the same thing with your shadows layer, we are going to go to Edit, Fill, choose black this time. Again, check that Preserve Transparency is selected and it says 100%. Click OK. So we now have this lovely grayscale image ready to work with. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to be working with your text. So you need to make a new document for that. File on New. And you're actually going to make your document 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. So we've got a nice square to work with. And it also needs to be 300 uh, dpi, so it's a good resolution. You are then going to locate your text. Um, I've just done mine in a Word document because it's easier. Command C to copy it. Um, and we're going to draw out a text box to copy it into, like this, by clicking with the type tool and drawing a square out in your document. I've chosen Edwardian script here for mine and a size 30 because I know that works quite well. Um, so if I then click on Command V, oops, it's copied it in in white. That's my fault. I forgot to tell you to go grey black. So I've clicked it into black. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep doing Command V until it fills up the entire box with the text. You're then going to collect your select your text and we're going to turn the text into a brush so that we can use it within the other document. So if you then want to go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and give your brush a name, um, this brush will now, this text will now become a brush that we can use within our image on the next page. So come back to your normal image, like so. You're then going to need to create a new layer above this just like this, and then make sure that you are on black down at the bottom so that your text is actually black. black. Click on your brush, find your actual um, brush that you've just made. I think a good size to sort of start with is maybe between 300 and 400 if you've been working with the same size as mine. Um, you need to make sure that your, blush, your brush is actually on black, which mine is, so that's fine. And then you're just going to fill your brush over the image. Now if you've got a white background at this stage you can actually see, but if you can't see you might want to just hide these two layers here um, just so that you can see what you're doing 
where you're putting your actual layering. Um, the other thing that might be quite nice is if you then did a much, much bigger version, you can maybe do several different styles, some that may be really big. Um, and if you actually click twice, then you can see that actually um, you'll get a darker effect. Um, maybe I'll take that one down a bit. There we go. Um, the other thing that you need to do as well, once you've done that, hide your text layer, show your other two layers and hide your white background. We need to actually merge those two layers together, layer one and layer two. So if you select those together by holding down shift and then press command E, that will um, link those two layers together. So now they are one. Um, and what you can see now is that I've got a text layer, I've got my picture and I've got a plain white layer. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're actually going to hide your text layer. Let's click off the um, brush tool. Hide your text layer. We are then going to want to click onto the image of Rihanna uh, where we want to select everything. So we're going to do Command A to select the whole image and then we are going to actually add a layer mask in to our text layer. So I want to reshow your text layer, click on your text layer, add in a layer mask which is this the third icon along on the bottom of your layers pal palette and you can see that when I've done that this becomes clear here. I'm then going to select that layer mask um, that I've just added on by clicking um, and holding down alt. So hold down alt and click on that and you can see I have now selected that and then I'm going to paste my pixels into that layer mask by clicking on command V. Um, oh, no that's wrong. Back Oh dear me. Go back to your layer just in case it hasn't worked because mine hasn't worked. Click on Command A, Command C, show your layer again, click on Alt to get your um, layer mask and then Command V to paste into. Yeah, that's what this time. Okay, so now you have that there, you can deselect by clicking on Command D to deselect and then you want to invert your image and the best way, most quickest way to do that is to press command I and that now inverses your image. So you paste your pixels in, you've deselected, you've inverted your image and then we need to work with the text layer. So we're now going to click on the actual text layer like so and when we do that you can actually see the image there with the text on it. What we need to do is make sure that that is hidden underneath because we don't want that anymore. And um, what you can see is now your white layer and just your text layer and we've got this image emerging there. We can just about start to see some of the shape of the face within the text. The next thing that we're going to do is add some colour in. So we want to go to the layer blending modes here, go down to the blending options for layer styles and then we want to go to the gradient overlay. So you want to click on the gradient um, button and then we don't want it to be black and white, we want it to be colour uh, and we want our uh, blend mode to be screen. So first of all change that to screen so we don't forget to do that later. Oops, Screen and then you're going to choose your gradient. A particularly good one to use is just this blue, red and yellow one. So we're going to click on that and then it's up to you really what you want to do with your actual um, angle of the gradient. I kind of like to have it slightly on an angle um, but that's up to you and you can also edit the change in the scale if you want as well of how much yellow you have and how, whatever else. So I'm going to edit that slightly, click OK. So we're nearly there now, we've actually only got a few more little things to do. We've added in um, the gradient. The next thing that we need to do is select a nice soft brush so click on your brush tool, go to your brushes, um, choose the first one. I'm going to click on it to make it about, I don't know, size, let's have a little look. We don't want it too big. And you can just hover your um, tool over the picture to see. You want a fair amount of detail involved in it. 
So maybe about sort of 15 or something like that's good. And then I'm going to actually turn the opacity of that down because I don't want it to be um, too obvious. I'm going to put it on about 30. Make sure that I'm actually clicked on um, that correct layer still, the, and the um, layer blended mode layer. And then I'm going to just colour over this. And you'll see that it's a bit like magic. What starts to happen is that actually some of the area starts to rub away a little bit. And you can start to get some detail into your actual image. It's quite nice if you work particularly over the eyes and things. If you think that um, you don't think that it's actually coming out dark enough for your light liking, and you want a bit more going on there, you can obviously change the opacity and the flow. And really, you just need to take a bit of time. Just kind of working back into your image, getting some of that detail going on. And this is quite nice because it means that actually the image is now starting to appear properly. I think what I'm going to do is maybe make my brush a bit bigger to do some of this background. Because mine was black, then it means that I get quite a nice lot of. Um, shadowing in the background which is quite nice we're going to make it a bit dark on one side and a bit lighter on the other side and obviously you can keep working back into it as much as you want to get that kind of darkness and shadows in there particularly working around actual Rihanna's face etc and then if you wanted to go back in you can still go back in and edit um, some of the actual um, gradient and things like that if you wanted to another quite nice thing to do is to if you want to you can actually work with some text again over the top um, with the brush tool again so if you wanted to go back in and maybe add a little bit more text to it, you weren't quite happy with what you got, you can actually go back in and add some more afterwards. Uh, make sure that you're actually not on too small, which is what I was on then. Uh, but actually I think I've got quite a lot on here already. And there we go. There is your finished um, typography portrait ready to go to be used for whatever you want to use it for. I uh, hope you have enjoyed doing this um, tutorial and that you share this information with anybody else that might find it useful. Thank you very much.